a Taco Bell. It's one of those nights. I really have Taco Bell in my mouth. <laughs> one Hello. Of those that we just we, we gave up. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad of an afternoon. I see you. It's just like. I'm not gonna make food tonight. Where are we gonna go? Taco Bell? Anyway, we're going to Home Depot. Okay, Porter's gonna try a taco. He likes tacos, he's had them before, but he always forgets a very crucial part. How to eat it. Okay, lean over your thing so you don't spill. Okay, how are you gonna do this, Porter? Oh, you did perfect, Porter. Good job. How was it? Piper, uh-uh, leave that alone. Yeah, you haven't graduated to taco. No, no. Is that good? Oh, good. I like. I'm glad that you like lettuce. <laughs> he just ate that whole piece of lettuce. It was like a big piece. Let us show you something really cute. Oh, you gonna eat one too, Piper? Don't eat any of mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, just leave it. No, do the thumbs up. One. That is Porter's really cool trick. Now Piper's gonna try it. Piper, do that thumbs up. Nice. That's how we feel about Taco Bell. Hey okay, Porter, wait. Can you grab my hand? So I don't normally let them go in these car um, grocery carts because they always end up fighting. So I'm being nice. These, these are good ones because they're like forward facing and they can't get out. Okay, we found it. This is what we're looking for. And we found it. We, we saw this on Good Mythical Morning. They tried Never Wet on their clothes, an entire outfit of white clothes. And they tried like to stain it with everything they could think of. Wine. Mustard. Mustard, ketchup. What else did they try? They tried everything, nothing stained it. And so I thought, I'm gonna put these on my kitchen chairs so that, you know, they stay fabric-y instead of like kind of gucky. I don't know, we're gonna try it out. We're happy we found it. That's magic. What's, yeah, it is magic. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> my seatbelt on. We came, we, we did what we came to do. I got this my seatbelt on. Perfect. Seriously, Home Depot. You need to fix your checkout situation. I really hate parking over by the entrance then having to check out at the other side and then having to walk all the way back over, I mean, first world problem. So now I have to do an experiment on this fabric that I have for the stools. Um, so I'm gonna cut off a piece of scrap. She just got her hand out. I can find it. Okay, so the instructions say not recommended for inside upholstery. But uh, I don't listen to instructions. I just do whatever the heck I want. Coat it until wet, and then let dry for 24 hours. Stand back. Mommy, is it turning in magic? Is it turning in magic? Yep. It says just to spray it until it's wet. Okay, that is that. We're gonna let that dry overnight. There it is. What is it? What are we gonna do? We're going to put some Ketchup on it first. Let's start with water. Okay guys, okay. we just put this never wet fabric uh, water repelling treatment on the fabric that I'm using on my kitchen chairs. Now this says not to use on inside upholstery, but I thought I might as well try it out just to see if it can repel some kid messes off of my fabric chairs. So we did that last night and now it is completely dry. Um, another disclaimer, it says to let dry for 24 hours. Technically, I would still need to let it dry for like five or six more hours, but. Yeah! Yeah! Let's do it! The first thing we're gonna try is just some normal water. Water. Wow, look at that. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Look at that water. It's just sitting on the top of it. <gasps> look how cool, Porter. Oh. Look at that, you guys. It is. 
literally just puddled up and underneath, I don't think it's wet at all. What do you think, Porter? I can't even wet it out. And we'll see. Oh my gosh, you guys, it literally was like plastic. Like all that water just came off. Guys, it's not even wet. And it will never be wet ever again. Yes, not never again. Okay, now we're gonna try the, what do you wanna try, Porter? Ketchup? Okay, we're gonna try ketchup and see what the ketchup does. I hope it stays on. I hope it stays off. <laughs> Oh no, we got ketchup on it. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Let's see what it does. <laughs> let's see what happens when we try and this. first let's maybe try and squish it because sometimes ketchup gets on our fabric and then it gets squished in. Oh no, now it's everywhere. Oh no, what shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? Okay, so I just did it with a dry towel and it's smeared. But is it stained? I think the ketchup will show pretty well if it's stained or not. Oh, I don't know. I see a little bit of stain there. I can't see. I would not say that the ketchup came off like totally perfect. Shoot. See, you can see it like right. I mean, it's barely, but you can definitely see discoloration. Now stain? we're gonna, with the stain? Uh -huh. The stain is like when you get something on your shirt no, and no, then you. That, that. The stain is like when you get something on your shirt and then it like. Even after you wash it, you can still see there was something there. Ew. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, here's some mustard, guys. Should I do something? Oh yeah, that's staining for sure. Now it's never gonna come off. Yep, now it's stained. Now it's gonna be dried off. Never Wet did not repel mustard stains. The water did the not water. seep in, did not seep into the fabric at all. It completely just was like, off. The ketchup and mustard on the other hand totally stained the fabric. Yeah, so this does not solve my uh, no, fabric no. my fabric saving problem, does it? No, no. No. But I don't ever like putting plastic. I don't like having plastic on the chairs. I don't like having plastic on the chairs because that just doesn't seem very comfy. So we'll just have to be careful. Yeah. Just be careful with our fabrics and not get stains on it, huh? Yep. Yep. Like on our shirts. Like on our shirts. We gotta be careful with our shirts too. Thanks for watching everybody. I have had a lot of fun putting these chairs together and finally getting them to look the way I want them to look. It's always a struggle and just as like a homemaker and a mom to try and decorate my home like I want, but also do it in a kid friendly way. So if you guys have any suggestions for how to keep my cushions safe, let me know. But as far as this one goes, it's good for water, but probably nothing else. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Having a daily vlog obviously means I am sharing a lot of my life. That obviously includes my two beautiful children and my husband. A lot of people don't always understand how some people can share so much.